Well, hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be going over double cleansing. I'm gonna be explaining what it is, how to do it. I'm gonna be answering some of your common questions about double cleansing, and I'm gonna be covering some common mistakes that people make when it comes to double cleansing and why it might have failed for you in the past. Cleansing the skin of the face at the end of the day is a really important piece of your skincare routine because throughout the day, we're exposed to dirt, airborne pollutants and bacteria that settle on the skin, namely the face, because that is some of the most exposed real estate. Plus you have cosmetics, sunscreen, that forms a film that actually can be quite inflammatory, generate free radicals that ultimately worsen hyperpigmentation, contribute to the visible signs of skin aging, and just impair the skin barrier overall and lead to skin problems. I promise you, however, if you go to bed one night without taking your makeup off, no one's gonna come and put you in jail. But if you get in the habit of doing that, it definitely can contribute to a lot of irritation on your skin and skin problems. If you wear makeup and water resistant sunscreen, you've probably noticed that sometimes it can actually be quite difficult to remove it simply by taking a cleanser to the face. So here in comes the double cleanse as a way to help facilitate that removal. First step involves using an oil-based cleanser and that can be a cleansing oil, a cleansing balm, a cleansing lotion or a cleansing cream. They go by a variety of different names, but this type of product is essentially an oil and water emulsion. That is the first step. And then the second step involves using a gentle cleanser to remove everything. The advantage here is that the first step helps to break up that film of cosmetics, dirt, oil. It helps lift it up without stripping away at your moisture barrier. Why should you do this? The number one reason to do this is that it reduces dryness and irritation that can come with cleansing. And for people who wear heavy makeup and water resistant sunscreen, this method can help reduce irritation from removing that and can help facilitate an easier cleansing for the skin. Does everyone have to do this? No. In fact, many people who don't wear makeup and don't wear water resistant sunscreen, they find that you know, all they have to do is a quick gentle cleanse. But if you are wearing cosmetics, this has been shown, at least in the case of water resistant sunscreen, to be a, a way to remove the water resistant sunscreen with less irritation in contrast to just using a water-based cleanse. For step number one, you can use a cleansing oil, you can use a cleansing balm, you can use a cleansing lotion, like this oven uh, tolerance, extremely gentle cleanser. You can use a cleansing cream, good old classic Pond's cold cream. The oil-based cleanser can also be used to gently remove eye makeup and mascara. I find personally that using makeup removers, eye makeup removers, they burn, they sting, they cause irritation around the eyes. I cannot tolerate them. This is the easiest way in my experience to remove mascara and sunscreen from around the eyes. For the first step, you also can use a micellar water. Personally, I don't use micellar waters. Why? Well, because they burn and sting around the eyes and I don't find that they work as well, just in my personal experience. I have a video, by the way, on why I don't use micellar water. So if you wanted to hear more about my reasons, then I will link that down below in the description box. Here are some common mistakes that people make when it comes to the double cleanse. The first mistake is that they take the oil-based cleanser and they mix it with water or they wet their face before applying the oil-based cleanser. You don't actually wanna do that. You wanna put the oil-based cleanser on the skin while it's still dry. You're gonna glide that oily based cleanser over the surface of the skin, allowing it to slip in between the cracks and crevices of your skin to begin lifting up dirt, oil, etc. If you put these oily emulsions on the skin while it's damp or mix it with water, it's gonna to begin to emulsify because you're getting that emulsion. You're not allowing it to slip and slide through the cracks and crevices of your skin. So by massaging the cleansing oil or cleansing balm on the surface of the skin, you begin to break up that residue quite nicely. But if you mix it with water, it just doesn't, it doesn't work as well. So I think that is a common pitfall that people make is they start mixing it with water first and first off. I didn't start double cleansing actually until a few years ago. And when I first started, I would do that. I would put a little bit of water to emulsify the oil cleanser. And I've just found that that's just not as effective as just going ahead and putting it on the skin dry. After you have massaged it over the surface of the skin, including around the eyelids, take it down to your neck because you should be wearing water resistant sunscreen there and you're likely wearing makeup on your neck. Anyways, after you have done that, then you're going to wash off that 
that broken up cosmetic film plus oil-based cleanser. After you've done that, you're going to wash it off. And here's another point in the routine where I think people encounter problems. And that is if you use cold or cool water to remove the oil-based cleanser, it can end up um, hardening in a sense on the surface of the skin. And that leaves behind that kind of film where you feel like the oil-based cleanser has not been sufficiently removed. You wanna make sure you rinse off or remove with lukewarm water, not hot. Hot is gonna dry out your skin and irritate it. The third pitfall is that people do not remove the oil-based cleanser, broken up dirt milieu sufficiently. And for this reason, I recommend using a gentle cleanser to remove that. And you may say, well, why not just start out with a gentle cleanser? Starting out with a gentle cleanser, you're gonna to have to wash your face like three or four times in order to make any progress removing your water resistant sunscreen or your makeup in most cases. And in that situation, you're gonna end up drying out your skin too much. This reduces contact time with water and it reduces contact time with cleanser, ultimately reducing dryness and irritation. So I happen to think that if you, you, you know, some people get away with just rinsing off that broken up film of oil-based cleanser plus dirt and makeup, but I think it's better to truly do a double cleanse, which means coming in with a second cleansing product, a gentle cleanser. For example, the La Roche-Posay Tellurian Gentle Cleanser is fantastic. I mean, I will list some down below in the description box. Personally, the way I do it, and I've always done it, and it works really well for me, is that I, I shower at nighttime, and I put the oil-based cleanser all over my face before physically stepping into the shower. So I massage it in and I step into the shower with that residue on my face. And then as soon as I'm in the shower, it's getting rinsed off. And in the shower, I use a gentle cleanser to, to facilitate further removal. So I get it off completely. If you are somebody who washes your face at the sink, I would suggest after you massage the oil-based cleanser all over the surface of the skin and you've broken up that film, I think to make it easier for total removal, just take a clean towel and wipe it off. Then come in at the sink, if that's your practice, with a gentle cleanser to ensure that you have gotten it all off. Common questions that I get, what is the best first step cleanser? Is it a cleansing oil? Is it a cleansing balm? Is it a micellar water? Honestly, it doesn't matter. In my personal experience doing this, I don't find, I personally like using micellar waters, again, because they do burn and sting around the eyes. And that's part of the reason why I do the double cleanse, is to avoid having to use an eye makeup remover to get off my mascara and to avoid having to use a bunch of cleanser around my eyes and constantly be doing this. So that is why I do it. And for that reason, I find the micellar water is just a complete, you know, it, it doesn't achieve that purpose. But honestly, it really doesn't matter. They're all going to help you out in a similar fashion. It's kind of a personal choice. The second question that I get is, can I use coconut oil or another vegetable oil as my first step? Do I have to use an actual product? You certainly can use a vegetable oil you know, that you have. The problem with that is there's no emulsifier in that. So you may find that it is even more difficult to rinse that off. And in the case of coconut oil, which seems to be one that I get a lot of questions about, many people with acne find that coconut oil aggravates their acne. So I think that is another potential reason why some people fail the double cleanse. Maybe they try coconut oil, they have acne prone skin, they don't remove it you know, in total, and that ends up causing problems for them. So you certainly can use coconut oil, jojoba oil, sunflower oil. I mean, insert your favorite oil. You certainly can try that, but remember, there's not gonna be an emulsifier in there, so it's going to be more difficult for you to remove that with the second step, the uh, gentle cleanser. The next question that I get a lot is, I have acne prone skin. Is doing the double cleanse with an oil-based cleanser as a first step good or bad? The benefit of doing this for somebody with acne prone skin is that it's a gentle way to actually remove sebum from the surface of the skin and from within the cracks and crevices. It's that sebum that when left behind on the skin is going to kind of feed into the pathways of acne flares. If you're using an acne medication that is drying like benzoyl peroxide or retinoid, well then using a double, doing the double cleanse method starting with an oil-based cleanser is a great way to help not contribute further to that dryness and irritation. 
Another question I get is, is this a safe way to wash the face for people with rosacea? Yes, absolutely. Why? Well, because it's a lot gentler on the skin barrier. Anything that is harsh on the skin barrier is going to end up actually aggravating the rosacea. Possible benefits to you from doing this method are easier removal of makeup and sunscreen, less dryness, less irritation, fewer acne flares. Potential pitfalls of this are that your skin is sensitive to oil-based cleansers and it ends up worsening your acne. I cannot predict if that's going to happen with you, but the tips that I've given you in this video should help reduce those errors that can push you over the brink, if you will, of an acne flare from oil cleansing. Let me know in the comments, do you double cleanse? Have you double cleansed in the past and it caused problems for you? Do you think you made any of these mistakes? All right, guys, I hope you're having a good week, a good September. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.